Harrow London was founded in 1572. It's obviously a world-class school known across the globe and is famous for providing an all-rounded education for boys from age 13. Um, Harrow Bangkok was the first international school to be established 20 years ago, followed by Harrow Beijing, Harrow Hong Kong and Harrow Shanghai. And we truly are a family of schools where we get together to share expertise and experiences for the benefit of our pupils. Uh, it's a place as, as what would be expected to come with the, the name that really expects excellence, both of its teachers and of its pupils. And I think from a teacher's perspective that is extremely exciting because it allows uh, really to have the highest expectations of your pupils uh, but also of yourself and to drive yourself to be the best teacher that you can be. The pupils are as impressive as the environment there. There's a real buzz about learning. They're so enthusiastic about everything you put in front of them. They're, they're incredibly enthusiastic. They want to come to school to learn. They are, they, they are leaders. The children are amazing. Every single child has got such a love of learning, um, which makes teaching in the class very, very enjoyable. The essence of Harrow Hong Kong is a feeling of family and uh, togetherness. And there is a lot happening, there are a lot of opportunities available for the pupils. Uh, coming from New Zealand uh, and being involved in a school like this, this is uh, outstanding for the opportunities that the pupils get, whether it is academic, sport, through the arts, drama, um, it is all here for them is almost a one-stop shop as you call it. Our pupil body is very special. I think that you see them interacting day in day out with each other. I think in the lower school you see our, our pupils growing and developing and in the upper school with the house system you see that vertical tutoring, you see our pupils interacting, you see them you know year nine hanging out with a, a year 13. How fantastic and special is that? Um, so working at Harrow Hong Kong's every day is different. Um, we've got a very tight timetable, a very busy timetable. The children are, are in Chinese lessons, in swimming lessons, in PE lessons. So it's a very, very active day. It is the closest thing you can get to British education outside of the UK. Um, and we're trying to strive to actually meet those standards and go beyond that. In Hong Kong, you know, it's a very, very exciting place to live in and to work in. Coming to Hong Kong was a, a big culture shock. It's a very, very, very busy place. It's pretty scary moving across the world with a two-year-old, or any child, really. Um, and there's an element of questioning whether you've made the right decisions. But within a month of being here, we knew that it was the right choice for us. Hong Kong is the place to be. You get these moments where you go, I can't believe I live here. It's such an exciting city, it is so cosmopolitan. There is so much going on here and so many different things. What I perhaps I didn't expect was how green Hong Kong is. It could be that you're doing a hike and you're looking out at these amazing views. It could be that you're having a glass of wine on a rooftop bar in Central looking over the view with some friends. So I suppose what I love about Hong Kong most is that it is able to be very successfully all things for all people, I think. We're a busy, vibrant, but exciting school, and no one day is ever the same. Um, typically, our children arrive just before 8 o'clock, and our younger ones go home, early years go home at 2 o'clock, our lower school at 3.30, and our upper school at 4.30, unless, of course, they're boarders, where there are activities for them. But there's so much going on at the school, there's so much variety, and we encourage all our pupils and all our staff to throw themselves into life here and to get involved. Um, I think you've got to have a certain adventurous spirit to come and work abroad, if this is, especially if this is your first overseas posting. Um, so that willingness to, to get out there and do things. I came as a class teacher um, and then the year after that I applied to be the Humanities Coordinator for the Law School um, and then this year I've applied to be the Mathematics Coordinator. So. I've been here for two and a half years and already had two opportunities to, to progress. Having started off as, as a housemaster here, I was promoted internally to my role now as assistant head. Um, and then when I, I started applying for my headships, 
Um, it, it was very clear when I spoke to, to the interview panel, to the chair of governors who was interviewing me, that my international experience was was of huge benefit, um, and that was one of the, the one of the key reasons why um, they were keen to employ me. Because the children are, are ready for a challenge, and they are so um, eager to learn, that it means that as a teacher, I have an opportunity to stretch children and uh, do. Uh, techniques and pedagogy that I probably wouldn't have had the experience to uh, to use in the past. We're driven by excellence here at Harrow Hong Kong and we want excellence in everything that we do so we're looking for teachers who are outstanding practitioners who are constantly reflecting on their own work and uh, want to do the very best for our young people. We're looking for people who will get involved in our co-curricular and super-curriculum program and who are aligned to our values and commitment to an all-round education. We want our young people to go out as rounded and grounded boys and girls who will make a difference in the world.